Let's win with more crazy box turbo. As long as I don't go against any Rongo mini ads, we should be fine. How do you know you're talking to a Yu-Gi-Oh player? You wouldn't get a word in because every time you try, it just gets negated. You know, in Magic the Gathering, they have these things called zero mana counter spells, which are like meta defining, incredibly specific counter spells that cost no mana. So they're straight one for one trades. And they're so powerful that they're usually banned in a lot of formats. And in, um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, we just kind of have those as hand traps and they're not really a big deal. <laughs> but then again, Magic also has like a mana system, so it's different. So like not being able to get those effects for free is... Oh, where's Bezel Ship? There it is. If only I had Trick Clown, that would have been much better. Let's normal summon this card and then pass because I have no extenders. Because I drew into my one card that I want to send to the graveyard with Fuller's Burial. I'm literally shitting and farting right now. Hey, Duologs, what's another good target for Union carry on to unaffected monsters besides Buster Whelp? I have no idea. Just Buster Whelp. That's why they banned Buster Whelp. And then when they banned Union Carry, they only unbanned Buster Whelp. <gasps> Is it the Blue Eyes? Hello, Mr. Manalogs. Hello there. I have a question. Why Jupiter is banned? Uh, because one of my mods banned it, and I don't know how to unban it. It's supposed to be a joke, but I don't have a, I don't have control over my mods. They kind of just do whatever they want. Do 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 do. Also, if you don't open automat that spams level fours, you need to search it, and you can only search it one time usually, so the combo dies to a single ash. Excellent. Can I be a mod? I don't know. Can you? Hello, the tavern lag. Hello there. Oh, was a joke for Jupiter over? Oh, did one of the mods finally unban it? Can I be a mod? No. Can't just spell D&D is the kind of counterplay. I'm literally shitting and farting. What are you guys talking about? No resource system? Oh yeah, like hand traps? Like if there was an Ash Blossom in, in Magic, it would be banned for being too good. Like they don't have zero mana negates in that game. You have to pay mana for your negates. You have to lose advantage and you, you're gonna like it. Pay good money for designer dual log shorts. Dual logs transports someone to a different dimension and takes their ability to breathe and then goes, oh, why people scared of me? Wait, what happened? Which, which, which ad played? I don't remember. Draglubion. <gasps> Are they trying to OTK me? Can you mod these nuts? Who's these nuts? Is it related to Ligma? I do like the card, Grand Jupiter. Shut up. I'll ban you. The craziest negate in magic was Mental Misstep. A counter for specifically one mana cards. Since you could play one mana or two life for the card. It could also be used to negate itself, and so every single deck started playing it because it was an out to its own. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in the video. We have a video on that in explaining the ban list. Actually, I don't know if it's out yet. I think it is. I think it's over on the Mana Logs channel. Why'd they go into Utopic Draco Future? Build Dogmatica Cyberdark? Is that a thing? Mental Misstep is one of the cards of all time. I knew it was true. I didn't want to believe it. He misclicked, obviously. Oh, it's still my turn. <gasps> no, I don't want to do that. Uh, uh, I have to normal summon Homu. Singing Lanius. I can just normal summon Patriarch. There we go. So close, but no cigar. Dulogs, do you know Mindset? What's that? Never heard of it. Four Strix or King of the Feral Imps? King of the Feral Imps, of course. King of the Feral Imps is my boyfriend. It is out. I'm liking those Manalogs videos. You should have an interview with him. The Manalogs? No way, I've heard he's cringe. I don't want to have an interview with someone who's cringe. Boyfriend? I thought your boyfriend was Maximus. Who's that? Think about MTG cards. They're very dumb cards that burn players if they shuffle. MTG has this one card where it's not once per turn and it has the effect to tribute a card in order to basically destroy a card and then draw a card. So like imagine if um, Zodiac Dryadent was not once per turn and also drew a card when you destroyed something but required you to tribute a card in order to do it. However, every time you, a card on your side of the field was destroyed, you summoned a new token to replace it. So you had an infinite destroy and draw engine and then I tell you that's not even broken because it's just like that's a baby combo. That's that's baby math. Do 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 boop 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 boop. We go into Force Landstrix. Cannon Soldier and that's your advantage instead of FTKs. Locke said Heavenly Prison was his boyfriend. No, I didn't. You said Heavenly Prison was your boyfriend. Can I do this from the hand? Yeah. This is why Raider's Wing is my best friend. Special summon Raider's Wing. Targeting this card. 
Heavenly Prison is not my BF. <gasps> Amazon Archer to Cannon Soldier. Banish Patriarch from the Graveyard. Dismantle Logs. The what? Logs finally made another friend. I don't have any friends. Friends are cringe. Can I go into one more card? <gasps> I can go into Dugras. I think I'll just go into Raider's Knight now. There's no need to keep to keep this up. Mm. Raider's Knight. Banish the Patriarchy. I did. Are you playing the sweaty deck? Yeah, I'm playing the sweaty, um, sweaty, uh, crazy box turbo. YouTube frog here? Who's the YouTube frog? Is he, is he gonna try to negate my Raider's Knight who currently can't be targeted by card effects? Wait, why does Miwa's Live have 18 plus tag? Because she, she talks about Homu content a lot. Queen Teramisir? YouTube frog here? What's a YouTube frog? Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. It's a sweaty deck because the inside of the crazy box must be hot. Exactly. I wasn't able to go into the sweaty box quite yet, but I can go into this. Iris Sword Soul is my GF. <gasps> Queen Teramisir. Oh, I can go into something else. Okay, I'll just detach. I don't know if, I think I, I want to be untargetable rather than undestructible. I'll get destroyed during the next end phase, but I plan on winning this turn. Target one blue eyes monster you control. This turn that phase up monster is unaffected by card effects. That's fine. I still have enough to win. Then I'll use these two bad boys to go into Utopic Draco Future. And then... Doop -doop -doop -doop. They don't take battle damage? Wait, what? Battles at monster, wall does a card, normal summon... No, they take battle damage. Can I be sure of a battle? Also, your opponent monsters at battles to destroy at the end of the damage step while this card is in the graveyard. I can still kill him. <laughs> it was way overkill. <laughs> Arc Rebellion. Did you see the crazy box and how much the crazy box won? No cowboy? Yeah, no cowboy. Cringe. Imagine not playing Gagaga -ga Cowboy. Cowboy for game. We're gonna go into Raider's Knight. Hopefully he doesn't have any negates. Play Venomi Naga or Toon Laters. Totally not biased. Venomi Naga and or Toons? <gasps> Those are my two and or favorite things to play in the world. Okay, Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Time rule changes. Cringe. Cringe. Okay, then we can activate Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. I think I want to keep target immunity. Okay, then attack into this little dude over here. <gasps> no response? Wait, what the fuck was he doing? He just let me beat him with Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Was this one of you guys? Did you guys go easy on me? Oh, because I was target immune. <laughs> I kept the target immunity. He's probably like, he was probably sweating. He's like, oh, how come I can't use it?